Who's good, Potato Spin Lee here, and I'm back with more of Can I Beat the Unknown City, Episode 1, blah, 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 blah. In the last part, I figured out a better way to actually control my fire. I, I've been running away from enemies so that I can get some distance and actually have time to pick them off. Uh, and I've discovered a lot of floating walls. So, let's go and see what the game has in store for us. And it looks like nothing good. Alright, so my main goal right here is to go ahead and try to hold at the top of these stairs. Unless they're spawning around me. I don't think they are. It looks like this is just going to be one really dense area where they try to focus skeletons up the stairs at me. Nope, they're sneaking up behind me. Okay, got a little, got a little sketched out right there. You know what they say about confidence? Seriously, what do they say about confidence? I don't know anything about it. Alright, and if I count the spawn sounds right, that should be the total number of enemies in this current round. I'm still sitting at a pretty 35 health. Uh, <laughs> it's better than what I started with, but I am currently one hit from death because I let them get around me. And it doesn't look like they felt the need to drop any health or ammo for me this round. It looks like they really just wanted to say, Fuck you! Which, that's that's fair. That's completely fair. Alright, it looks like down that stairway is going to be our next objective. Unless it's in this house. Yep, I, I guess right. It's in the house. Okay, so a total of five enemies, it's sounding like. There's two, there's three. Alright, so there's one clip through that wall, there's one clip through wall on the right. I think that might actually be it. Now the question is, will they receive damage if I hit them through the wall? Right here. No, it doesn't look like it. So I actually have to go inside and bait them around. You guys want to come at me now? Okay, so you're armed with a sword. You're armed with an axe. That's you down. Is it? You better be dead, bro. Like fucking. Oh, you gave me the ammo! Alright, it looks like this fucker right here. These fuckers right here are gonna be giving me some health more than likely. They're completely stuck behind the door. So, yeah, I was right. Total of five enemies. Not too bad. The key is just to listen for, like, the spawning sound and see if you can uh, go ahead and find a decent point to hold out. Oh, look at all these invisible walls. <laughs> so I'm guessing here on the second floor is where we're going to find our silver tail. Now the big issue here is I'm going to have to rush down these stairs and out the door once things start spawning in. Hey, I found the silver tail! You seem to have successfully acquired the silver tail. Hell yeah! The silver tail is useless without the golden fox. Alright, let's go find this golden fox. Sir, where is the golden fox? Well, it is not here. The golden fox is located in a valley. All right. I will take you to the valley now. All right, let's go to the valley. Let's get this done. Wait, is this chapter three? <gasps> we're on level three. We're almost done. Hell yeah, Lance, and we're almost done. We're doing pretty awesome so far, wouldn't you agree, Kitty? And you're gonna bite my hand. Okay, load screen. Come on, let's go. Let's wrap this up. I'm feeling good about this today. After this, probably do some mutant year zero. Mm-hmm. Gonna be a good recording day. Okay, come on, come on. There, there's no reason. Yeah. Welcome to the valley. This place is completely surrounded by mountains. 
All right. Sides and partially surrounded by a lake with mountains on the fourth side. Okay. So we're walled in in mountains. All right, so follow the water. All right, so at the lake, I will find the golden fox. It's up for all the rain and the music. The music's drowning out all your voices. It applies in survival and applies in games. Oh, she gave me all the information I needed. So there's going to be a lake. There's going to be a bunch of different shit all the way around. We're going to go ahead. Actually, this might be a good time to brush up on some ammo we need, like the shotgun ammo. And since there are no major structures in the way, this should be nice and easy. Hey, I see all the houses right now, so I'm going to be making my way towards that building. Oh, there's one, there's another. So it looks like we're already finding the houses without issue. Once we find the third house, we'll be all set. So the third one's probably going to be the difficult one. Find all three parts of the golden thought, where are they at? Alright, I'm going to let them all spawn in. And then I'm going to take action. What the fuck are you? There's so much shit. On the bright side, they seem to be taking a bit more damage, especially with the shotgun, which I'm happy about. I'm ha I'm glad that I decided to refill this. Listen here, asshole. You must be getting the fuck out of my way. Now, if they're just continuously spawning, this is the point in time where it gets hard because I'm actually having to run around everything. All right, so it looks like there's one left. No, there's two left. Okay, so three shots does the job. Alright, that's good to know. So I'll be counting my three shots per enemy, and I'll be having fun with it. So let's keep making our way towards that house. So anytime they spawn in, because it's going to be a full circle around us, we're going to have to get some distance, get out of the circle, let them build up in a nice little clump, and try to take them out from there. So far, so good. I'm seeing a little bit more ammo off in the distance. That's going to be my next goal, is getting that shit. Gotta keep topped up. And in these close quarters, I would say that the shotgun will usually help us out. Really, doesn't matter what we use here. The shotgun seems to be our best friend, only because it has taken things out in a subsequent number of shots without having to, you know, throw me back with massive recoil or really fucking me over. Alright, so there's some spawn. There's one, there's two, three, four, four enemies total. Two and oh, you're down two shots. What? One shot. Okay, so there are more enemies than we thought. But that's fine. You know, this really takes me back to playing freaking classic Dune. Just slightly better rendered. It might be the shotgun, might be the fact that there's, uh, like, no fucking chainsaw, unfortunately, but it, it could just be the heavily armored demons and Winston jumped in front of the screen. Hey, buddy. You're in the way. I'm trying to get stuff done. Oh, and they dropped a little bit more ammo for our shoddy. And one, and a two, and a, oh. One, and a two, and a, oh. Okay, so that's eight ammo for the shoddy. 
So far, so good. We're looking fucking golden right now. Once I get this first part, I'll go ahead and I will call this a video. Is that the third? That is the final house. <laughs> so we found all the structures without issue. Now the biggest challenge is going to be getting inside these fuckers. How am I getting in this house? Well, they said three structures. It might not just be three here. Yeah, so it looks like, as far as these structures go, that was completely vacant. So I'm going to have to get over to this one and see if there's a way inside. Like I said, they said three structures. They didn't say that there was only three. Ah, this one actually is the open door, so I should be able to get inside. So I'm just waiting for baddies to start spawning. I'll probably spawn once I get up to the door. Oh, there's another house right there. And it's got ammo next to it. Hell yeah. So, my guess is... Yeah! There we go, we're inside. One thing for sure, though, we're not going to be getting out. If shit spawns, shit spawns. And because my sensitivity is set so low to reduce the recoil... Turning is a real fucking headache, so I'm not finding... I'm not finding this piece. Uh, unfortunately. Uh, ooh, there's a... No, that's the one I just came from, so we're gonna want to go down to that little shack. Find all three parts of the golden gun located in different houses. Well, this one, we can go ahead and strike a mark through it. This looks like it's going to be a little bit better for us. The tree texture's just set. That's not necessarily a house in front of us. That seems to just be a structure in general. Okay, so we're going to get a little bit of distance between us and the baddies, and then we're going to turn around and engage. Alright, oh, down to the pistol, so let's go ahead and pull out a gun that's not going to fucking fail us. Or at least that we hope won't. A tried and true AK-47! Ah, uh, yeah, ah, uh, wow. Recoil still ass! About to die because I'm stuck on the enemies. Okay. The assault rifle's out of ammo, unfortunately. We have the sniper rifle, but I think these guys are going to be getting us too fast. SMG's still out of ammo. Uh, Scar H is currently out of ammo. We can do the MG42. Alright, another tried and true weapon. So this looks like it's what we're going to be relying heavily on because of the ammo capacity, because of the fire rate, all that good shit. So this isn't technically a house. We completely fucked up by walking over here. So we have this, we have those two that are empty, we have another house over here and another over there it looks like. So we're just going to be hugging this side, trying to work our way through the buildings. That's it, once I find the first, once I find the first part. Uh. Yeah, shit. Uh, okay, so it looks like there's actually a cluster of homes over here. So that's good. That means one of them should have what we're looking for. And they're spawning in. Well, let's get out of their spawn radius so that they can focus into a nice little conga line for me to pick off. And I finally mastered the art. Oh of rotating while running. Oh no, we wandered into another spawn area. On the bright side, I don't think these fuckers will respawn. And it doesn't seem like they're on a timer. It seems like they're zone activated. 
Which, if that's the case, we're in luck. The only downside is we're sitting at 15% health, so a single hit will kill us. All we need to do is walk into the wrong enemy, and that's curtains. And that means we get to explore all these houses all over again. Okay, let's turn around. All right, come on, you motherfuckers. Let's get this done. Let's get it done. Let's get it taken care of. Let's get you the fuck out of here. We all want to go home. Oh, 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 that actually... Oh, God. I thought that... I thought that they were done. Oh. This game actually got me. <laughs> oh, fuck me. <clears throat> Shake it off. Alright, so we have a little wooden structure right here. Hopefully it's got something good for us. And I'm seeing stairs, which means it's potentially an actual house. So it could be holding what we need. There's another one right over there. There's a few more over here on the hill. So it looks like we have two separate areas inside this building. The search over there, it looks like a single area. Uh, that door's closed, so we can only search one portion of this building, unfortunately. You know, they probably could have given us a flashlight. Alright, so we're going to be making our way over to this building. Because we can actually get inside of it, it looks like. Now, here's hoping that this actually has what we need. I think I triggered like two or three spawn areas, so we, we should be good for a minute. <laughs> You know, you think a golden part in game saving. Okay, so if I learned anything, it's stay the fuck away from windows and stay the fuck away from walls, because they can hit you through them. Ugh. Luckily for us, the game decided that that was the point to save at, so we got saved by that shit. Oh god, where do you come from? Oh fuck, there's more! I'm dead! I almost don't want to stop moving. I feel like the moment I do, something's gonna be right behind me looking to fuck me in the ass. Now this, this seems to be a large portion of the game, is just wandering this area. Trying to make heads or tails of what's around you. I'm not a fan of that. We, we have searched a large portion of the houses and haven't found anything even close to a part of the golden gun. Ugh. So the real question is, how many houses are there? How big did they make this area? And is this where all the attention to detail within the game went? Because if so, I'm severely disappointed. Okay, sounds like we got more spawning in. One hit and we're dead. This building's closed, no point in searching it. Pick them off as I can. Did they drop health or ammo? I'm right there. But I also don't want to stop moving because these motherfuckers have surprised me before. Ah, uh -huh, you would have been the one that caught me. Nope, you would have because you were up my ass the entire time. Jesus! And now I'm starting to see buildings over in that direction, so there's one, two, three. Ugh. No, I'm really wishing... For, for something like this, the game really needs to give you a sense of direction, because I have no idea how big this area is. At least get me to a decent starting point so I can go from there. Okay, so I think I came from that building. No, I haven't been to this one yet. It's too large. 
Like literally, all I can do is try to go around the outside, stay alive for as long as possible, and hope, hope, hope that I come across the parts. So chances are, there's going to be one on the right side, one on the left side, and then there's going to be another slap dead center. So I'm just hoping to get this side gun, or this, this part on this side. They're spawning in now. My hope is to grab that ammo. This building's locked off, so there's no point in trying to even search it. You know, I'd really like if they gave me some health. Alright, at this point, I'm literally just trying to get to the buildings to see which ones I can open. Because if there's nothing on this side, I will reset to have all of my fucking ammunition and go in the opposite direction. I can fight off a sizable horde with low health as long as I have enough distance between me and them. Okay, so we enter into another spawn area. All I need to do is avoid the one spawning in. And I'm sliding in every direction. I can see through the grass. We have a nice little chunk of houses here, so chances are this is where we're going to find it. Oh, fuck me! Okay, so the zombies are actually fucking pushing me. Why they're pushing me and not just outright killing me, I have no clue. I'm not going to hate them for it. But we got a nice little train going. Let's go ahead and knock him out. And my only hope is that I don't stumble upon another spawn area. And once again, I'm going to try to avoid standing still because that is how you get guy. I am actually leaning in my chair. <laughs> Trying to compensate for the recoil. <laughs> and trying to freaking go in the direction of the fucking hordes so I can better control them. So I'm actually gonna. Re oh, finally, health. Now I don't have to listen to that fucking annoying ass sound. And this is why we constantly keep moving, because there's always a slow one hanging back trying to get you. And there's always one right up your ass when you don't expect it. So we get some actually pretty large pieces of experience for these fuckers. So I guess this is where the points really come into play. They expect you to spend most of your time in this segment of the game. Now, why not just make the entire game this? Why do we have to travel through time and space just for this, you know? This door's open. Is there a gun part in here? It seems like the floor in here really slows us down. And the answer to the gun part is no. So let's go ahead and check this small building up here. Maybe there's a table with the gun part on it. That's another thing. The parts are so fucking small. Like that bullet, it was li <laughs> I, there. There was nothing highlighting it. I could have missed that bullet and ended up wandering around that town for hours. It's ridiculous how it works out. And all they really need to do to screw me over here is just spawn something while I'm in a house. Okay, so there's no golden parts in this building. Search fucking continues. Okay, so we scratched out you, we scratched out this one. Let's see what else is around. Uh, we have... You're sealed. Ooh, let's check this large house. We haven't been in one of these yet. Is the door open? Door's open. If this is the moth we need to look out for to get it... Uh, Jesus. I'll hold him at the door, I don't give a fuck. Come on up! They spawned as soon as I stepped in the house, so I assume that it's going to be here. Here comes another. Is there any more? I'm waiting for some slow motherfucker to come out and spit in my face and murder me horribly. I hear the footsteps. Alright, so let's go and search this building. Chances are it's going to be here on a table on the first floor. And it looks like it's not, so we need to actually go upstairs. Ah, I knew that there was going to be a slow fucker.
Okay, come on, stairs. Don't, don't, don't do this. Is there an overhanger? There's an overhang stopping me from progressing. If it's up these stairs, I'm gonna be really annoyed. Can, can I just get one part, please? There, <laughs> so far there is nothing. They have a giant empty area with three small shiny little pieces in it. I swear to God, if one of the parts is literally a fucking spring and I have to go over the fucking fields with a fine tooth comb. So far this is absolutely ridiculous. So that building's closed. We just searched this one. That one's closed. We'll search this one. You know, there's a lot of empty ass houses over here. That one's close up. What about this little red house right here? If it's open, we can at least defend ourselves inside of it. You won't hear me complaining. Nope. That one's closed. Okay, so we're gonna get inside this fucker and defend ourselves. Unless we get stuck in the doorway. And that, that's the part that really sucks, is I, my sensitivity is so low because that's the only way that I have controllable recoil. So, like, turning and moving and shit, it takes so much out of me. Like, I'm actually having to fuck with in-game menus to compensate for the development. It was goddamn ridiculous. Huh. All right. Now we know for sure that there's nothing in any of these. Let's go ahead and go a little further on. So we're gonna want to look at. Oh, there's something down there. Let's check these, because you're closed. Might be something in one of these. All right. So if I can just make it inside, we'll be golden. All right. So we found one of the lakes. Please. Oh, thank you. Oh, son of a bitch. See what I mean? You stop for a second and they're on you. Ay, ay, ay. So are you just not rendered? Like, what's going on there? Okay, so this is nice. This is just one big fucking mess. Only found one. <laughs> I haven't even found one part. I'm almost out of ammo. I've almost died. Aye, aye, aye. Okay, so we'll search one more building and I'll call it a video. Yeah, I know. It's in one of the houses. Blah, blah, blah. This one's sealed off. Let's check this one. Oh, this one's open. Can we actually get inside of it, though? No. So this was all just a big load of nothing. Okay, so that's this entire segment of the map. I'm gonna get... I'm gonna push a little bit further on the right side. I hope that I come across something. If I don't, oh well. Uh... Oh, there's something off in the distance. Could that be it? There's another little grouping of houses right here. Alright, so I'm gonna say this. 
We have a large area with no. To Give us a fucking map so we know where to search and so that we can cross shit off or put something useful in the houses. I am only getting useful shit from drops. Oh, I need to take a second. Like, comment, subscribe, keep on, keep it on. I'll see you in the next one.